Welcome to Duplicate YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can set up your Zoho Mail, how we can connect your Namecheap domain and verify and after the setup MX, Dikim and Dmark record for your Zoho Mail. So I have signed into my Zoho Mail admin console and I have also signed into my Namecheap account. So after signing to your Zoho Mail admin console, click on add domains and here it is. If you have any domain that's connected to your Zoho Mail account, then you can find them here. I'm gonna add a new domain, just click on add domain. You have to provide your domain here. So I'm gonna collect the domain from my name chip account. This is the domain I will be connect. So I have based my domain name here, click on add. And here it is. I have to verify my ownership. So this is the record. This is the record. I have to add my domain DNS as a TXT to verify the ownership of the domain. So I'm going, I'm gonna copy the TXT record from my Zoho Mail admin console. Going to my Namecheap account, click on manage, click on advanced DNS, and here it is. I'm gonna add the record as a TXT. Click on add new record, find TXT, under the host it will be at and under the value, I'm going to paste the value that I have copied from my Zoho Mail Admin Console. This is the record. Just click on Save, save All Changes. And here it is. It's done. Now you have to wait a little bit. It could take 30, 30 minutes to one day to verify your actually ownership. So I'm going to wait a little bit. And after that, I will click on Verify TXT Record. Now I'm going to click on Verify TXT Record. Are you gonna see is it connected or not yes it's done my domain is connected to my zoho mail account after connecting your domain to your zoho mail and verifying your ownership you have to set up mx dkim dmark and spf to your domain dns before start sending email using your zoho mail so this is the video i will be showing you how you can set up mx dkim and dmark record for your zoho mail in your name chief domain dns so I have signed into my Zoho Mail admin console. I have also signed into my Namecheap account. So after signing into your Zoho Mail admin console, click on domain. And this is the domain that I have connected to my Zoho Mail account last time. So I'm gonna set up Dmark, Dikim, and Amex record for the domain. So just click on the domain, click on email configuration. And here it is. Those are the Amex record that I have to set up first. So I'm gonna copy the Amex value from here, going to my advanced DNS of the domain. So I have to MX record under the mail setting. So I'm going to change it to custom MX. And here it is. I'm going to, under the host name, it will be add. I'm going to pass the value that I have copied from my Zoho Mail Admin Console. Here it is. And under the priority, first one will be 10. Okay. Just click on save. Save changes. Okay. Now I have to add the second MX record. So I'm going to copy it from my Zoho Mail Admin Console. Going to my advanced CNS again. Click on new, hostname will be at, I'm gonna pass the value here again, the priority will be 20. Okay, let's save changes. Done. So I'm gonna add the third one. I'm gonna copy it from here. And here it is, I'm gonna add a new MX record. It will be at under the hostname. Under the value, I'm gonna pass the value that I have copied. Priority 50 and save changes. So here it is done. My MX record setup is completed. So now I'm going to verify the MX record that I have to wait a little bit. They're giving me instruction to wait at least 30 minutes to one days to change the record, but I don't have to wait that much time, but a little bit time must have to wait. Now I'm gonna click on verify to check the MX record that I have set up is okay or not. And yes, it's done. My MX record setup is completed. So now I'm going to click on SPF to set up the SPF record. So this is the SPF record that I have to edit to my domain DNS as a TXT record. So I'm going to copy it from here, going to my domain advanced DNS. And here it is. I'm going to add it as a TXT. When you are adding a SPF, you have to make sure that don't have any other SPF at the same time. If you have, then you have to remove them. The host name will be add. Under the value, I'm gonna paste the value that I have copied. Just click on save changes and it's done. Now you have to wait a little bit again and then you can click on verify to verify your SPF record.
my SPF record is verified node it's gonna take a little more longer than as usual so I'm gonna leave it as usual uh, now I'm going to set up the game and demark after that I will come back to my SPF record again and set up I will click on verify so now I'm going to set up the game for the domain and this is the DKIM record that I have added once again to my domain DNS as a TXT. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna copy the host name going to my domain advanced DNS, add a new TXT record, click on TXT under the host name, paste the host name you have copied from your Zoho mail. So I'm gonna paste it here. Under the value, you have to copy the value from here. Just click on the link and here it is, paste it here, click on save changes. And it's done my tkim record setup is completed i'm going to click on verify to check it out is it completed or not thus i'm going to click on verify that i have to actually wait to confirm the tkim record now i'm going to click on spf to check out yes my spf record setup is completed and once again i'm going to click on verify to check out is it verified yet? yes my tkim record setup is completed now i'm going to set up the dmark and how it is to set up DMARC, I will suggest you to go as it is, don't need to change anything. So under the aggregation notification email, paste an email address. I'm going to provide an email address here. Actually, this is the email address I will receive if there are any kind of uh, message or any kind of failure to my email address when I'm sending cold email using my Zoho mail. So I'm going to paste an email address here. I'm going to pass the same email address under, under here. Okay. Then here it is. You don't need to change anything. Policy percentage, first 100. Just click on generate. And here it is. This is the DMAC record you have to add to your domain once again as a TXT. So I'm going to copy it here. Going to my domain advanced DNS. Add a new TXT record. Click on TXT under the host name. It will be DMARC. And under the value, I'm going to copy the value from my Zoho mail admin console. And here it is, just paste it here. Click on save changes. And it's saved. Now I'm going to my Zoho mail admin console. Once again, I have to wait a little bit to verify DMARC record that I have set up. Just click on verify. My DMARC record setup is completed. Now you can click on regenerate, but I don't need to regenerate the DMARC record as I already set up. Now you can create a user under the domain. You just have to click on user and here it is as you, you can create new user. Just click on add, click on add user, choose the domain that you want to create user for, choose name, last name, first name. Then this is the very simple way you can create new email under the domain you have connected to your Zoho mail admin console. So this is the very simple way you can set up your MX, DMARC, SPF and DKIM to your domain DNS and I have shown you how you can create email or how you can actually create user in your Zoho mail admin console.